In this video, we're gonna see if you can stream with only a laptop. My name is Tree, and I'm extremely support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. Gigabyte sent me this package to try out for a week. They said there would be a laptop in here. Let's open it up. We're gonna need scissors for that. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I thought it would open easier. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't that easy to open. Uh, okay, I got this. I got this, guys. So, <laughs> let's see what's inside. I thought it would flip open. Okay, it didn't. It's fine. It's all good. I'll just get this out. There. I'm super good with boxes. Can you see? There we go. That's the beautiful thing we need. Ugh. There's also an adapter in here. Also pretty handy dandy. There it is. Upside down. <laughs> Woo! Let's open it up. Do we need a button for that? No. Ooh. It's like a claw in the Let's get it out. This is the AR7. Okay, let's see if it turns on. Ooh, it lights up. Let's go. Oh, it has RGB lights. Alright, let's see. Darnation. So I emailed them to ask them, how do I get into this laptop? And they sent me a reset manual, so we're in it. <laughs> the first thing we gotta do is open Microsoft Edge and download another browser because, you know, we like Firefox or Chrome better here. So first I'm gonna test out, can we do like a just chatting stream with just the webcam and a microphone? And then after that, we wanna test out if we can also play a game while streaming. That will be the ultimate test for a laptop though. But first we need to download OBS. Because we cannot really stream without OBS, can we? So I downloaded OBS and what we want to do is we want to edit the microphone and the camera to see how it looks like. So the webcam of this laptop is 720p and the frame we have here is 1080 so we're going to need to make it bigger. Now it fits. <laughs> Okay, and uh, OBS automatically added the microphone in here already, so we're gonna like need to adjust it so it doesn't over peak the whole time. Theoretically, we will be ready to stream. Get this up. We need to add a stream key. It's probably better that we do this on my bot account because otherwise everybody's gonna see the stream already. And it's not gonna be an actual stream, it's gonna be like a test stream, you know? So I put the stream key for my bot in here and technically we're ready to go. What we can do though is put in like an actual internet cable for like a more stable network. So I put an ethernet cable in now and it should be more stable. So if you're streaming from a laptop make sure to have a cable in here because streaming on Wi-Fi is going to give you a lot of drop frames and everything like that so don't do that. I'm just going to put on start streaming now. That was the record button. <laughs> Start streaming. All right, and we should be live in a second. Uh, let's see, hello. <laughs> We're gonna like test the sound and just see how it sounds and how it looks like on stream. Uh, it should be, it should be running now. So this is just a test. We're gonna use this in the editing so you guys can see this. This is gonna be like, yeah. So this is what it looks like with the webcam that is in the laptop and this is what it sounds like with the microphone that's in the laptop. I'm actually gonna hear what this sounds like and looks like in the editing so I'm kind of nervous for that. 
If you want to upgrade the quality of the webcam, you can always attach a C920 camera from Logitech. These are about 70 bucks normally, but with the quarantine, eh, the prices went up crazy, so wait a little bit until, you know, people start selling them again. Same with the microphone, you can attach a USB mic very, very easily if you want to up the quality of the microphone. So I actually already knew that this was going to work. It's not that hard to just stream a camera and a microphone. But the real challenge here is to play a game while streaming. So this laptop has some good hardware in it. So I downloaded Speccy to see what the specs are because people can tell me what the specs are, but you know, if we see it, we know it. So there's 16 gigabytes RAM in here, almost 500 gigabytes of SSD. There's a 10th gen i7 processor in here and a GeForce 2060 RTX. The new graphic cards, yes. So by just looking at this, I assume that we can run a game and stream. So let's just test that out. I'm downloading Valorant right now. Our internet is pretty fast, so I think this is gonna be done in a second. I'm not gonna dive super deep into the specs of the PC in this video because I'm not a super nerd. <laughs> and I don't wanna say things that I don't understand. So we're just keeping it simple here, right? For some reason they have started to drill outside. Ugh, it's super loud. I'm sorry for that. So in this video we're taking a look at this Gigabyte laptop, but obviously for every laptop this is going to be different. You can test it out for your laptop if it works for yours, but in this video we're testing it out with this Gigabyte laptop because they were so nice to lend it to us for a week. Okay, we're starting up Valorant right now. Some Vanguard error. If you guys want to have a video about how you can actually stream on Twitch with like details, how you set OBS up and how you can put your stream key in there and everything like that, let me know in the comments below. We started up Valorant. This is just a tutorial because I made a new account. <laughs> Obviously, if you want to stream this, use headphones because then you don't hear the sound through the microphone as well. I'm going back to OBS and then what we add is a game capture. Awesome, and then we're gonna make ourselves smaller because we don't want to overlap the whole game, huh? Like that. Use all to make it a little bit smaller as well. So we're right here. Let's uh, see top right. And then right now we see a black screen, but as soon as we click in Valorant, then it should be recording Valorant instead. There we go. Oh, whoops, we're behind the game. <laughs> That's awkward. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some headphones because this is gonna sound pretty bad without. This is gonna make it sound a lot better. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go live again to see how this runs, how smooth this is gonna be. So start streaming. Um, we should be in the frame. Cool. I'm not sitting right in front of the laptop right now, so you guys can actually see the screen. <laughs> so it's a bit awkward playing like this, but um. It seems to run pretty smoothly. Uh, what did they say? Something with a gun over there. <laughs> I forgot. Like, I don't know why this tutorial works anymore, you know? Okay, so if you're playing a game, obviously use a mouse instead of the mouse pad, because this is going to be really hard to fit the mouse pad. I don't remember what the tutorial told me. Right, agent, boom, boom. Three more. Position yourself so you only fight one at a time. Aim down sight for a closer look. Ready for there. We got this. So what are my final thoughts of streaming with the Aorus 7 laptop? It's actually pretty decent. The camera is in 1080p and I think that the C920 camera is a lot better, but you can just plug that in. It's not that expensive and Obviously, this camera in here is so tiny and it can never be as good as a camera that is like 10 times this size. So if you would stream from this laptop, I recommend buying a separate webcam. But for a laptop webcam, it's actually pretty good. And it's totally doable if you're just in the game scene and you have yourself smaller, that you just use this webcam. Obviously, the microphone isn't the best. It's not like a Rode broadcaster or like a Blue Yeti microphone, but it is pretty good. It's clear and you can understand the person very, very well. So I would say it's enough to stream with just this webcam and this microphone from in the laptop. That's actually pretty huge. Also the game Valorant we run here ran pretty smoothly. I did not see any FPS drops on my end or on the stream's end. 
And I know there are some games that are a little bit more heavy on the GPU and CPU, but I think if you can run Valorant on it, there's a lot of games you can play on stream. Do I recommend streaming from a laptop? It's probably easier to stream from a desktop computer and you can have your microphone and lighting setup all set up. But if you need a laptop for school or for your work and you really want a gaming laptop that is also good for streaming, I think this one will work. You could take it somewhere and just start streaming from everywhere. Well, as long as you have internet connection. Like I said, plug in a cable that, that will do wonders because otherwise you're going to have drops in your stream and low bit rate and everything like that and you don't want that but i think this is a solution to be able to stream in multiple locations without having to have an expensive irl backpack i'm not saying that this laptop is cheap or anything like that but it is a laptop that you can just do everything on that you normally also do just game and just do your homework check your mail and everything like that perfect you can't do that with an irl backpack you know <laughs> So the real question of this video, can you stream with just a laptop? I guess the answer is yes. I guess you can. You will see a little bit of quality difference with people that are actually using a professional microphone, a professional camera, and just using a desktop computer. But this works pretty damn good, especially if you're a starting streamer and you don't know if streaming is gonna be something for you. And you need a good laptop for just gaming anyway. I think this would work. Once again, this is the Aorus 7 from Gigabyte. I really want to thank you guys from Gigabyte for sending this laptop to me to just test out for a week. So I can see if this was actually a laptop that you could stream with. And I was just actually pretty surprised that it runs so smoothly. I did not see any drop frames or anything like that. I think the biggest downside of streaming with this laptop is going to be that you don't have an extra screen. But you could use your phone for that. And there's actually extensions where you can see the chat as overlay for your gameplay as well. So you could run those with one screen. I know a couple of people that stream with only one screen, even though they're on a desktop computer. And it works for them. So it can work for you too. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you want to learn more about OBS and how to set it up, I got a full playlist where you can learn a lot about OBS. And I will see you there.